Well, hello, and welcome once again to Seven Things Plays. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today you may notice that the audio sounds a little bit weird. Let me tell you why that is. Well, I recorded this whole goddamn episode, and for some reason, OBS, the program that I use to record my gameplay, did not record my mic. I don't know why, but for some reason, the input was not selected, even though I didn't change anything, didn't touch anything at all. I was using the same profile that I always use to record my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild gameplay, but my mic was not recording. So I recorded this whole goddamn episode, and there's none of my narration. So I had to think long and hard about what I was going to do here, because basically, I can't remember what the hell I was doing in this episode. I recorded this a while ago, and I was going to the, getting to the point of editing it and realized there was no audio on it. I thought maybe could I just play this thing with no narration whatsoever? Is that okay? But then I thought, nah, that might suck. But we're going to try this. We're going to see if I can narrate what I'm doing here. Right now I'm trying to kill a goddamn Octorok. One of these ridiculous ones with a little rock on their head. I was finding out, hey, every time I try to shoot it, it goes away, and it's impossible. And I get angry. I think if, if I can remember correctly, when I was actually recording this, I was getting quite cross with this Octorock. And I think I finally said fuck it and ran away, but eventually I figure out how to do this. So basically right now, I have decided that I'm going to record the narration. And of course, now that I've decided to do that, they are tearing up the goddamn street. Right down below the Stuff and Things Plays studio, you can hear the beeping of large vehicles going in reverse. You can hear jackhammers. You can hear excavators. At least I can hear them. I'm assuming you'll be able to as well. So it's a big clusterfuck. It's a travesty. It's horrible. It's not working out too well. So I'm going to try to put myself back in the shoes of the Bradley, who was recording this narration when I was actually playing this. Um, again, we'll see how this goes. Maybe this will be better than any of the other ones. Maybe this is the way I should do it from now on. Oh, look, see, see, see? I figured out that you gotta stasis these bastards, and then you can kill them. So we're here somewhere. <laughs> we're here uh, near Goron City, I think. Okay, oh, I remember this. Okay, 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 okay. So we had heard that Unobo had gone off to go get medicine or something for the boss. Who's the boss? Bluto? Budo? Something like that. And we were supposed to go find Unobo, so this is part of the main quest. And apparently he was at the abandoned mine, and uh, yeah, and here's Drac. Uh, <coughs> oh yeah, voices. What's going on today? So many people out and about, you should know it gets much hotter past here, and there are also lots of monsters, it's really dangerous. What's a stranger like you asking about Unobo? Why is a stranger like you? I know how to read it. You'll boss does? Well, then I guess I better tell you where Unobo is. Yeah. I, I don't know if that was his voice, but I guess it doesn't matter. Unobo went to the vault to fetch some painkillers, but now that you mentioned it, I suppose he never came back. This place is dangerous, so you probably shouldn't go looking for him. So, do you need something else? Who, me? They call me Drak. Ever since Divine Beast Falrudania showed up, there's a ton of lava. <laughs> I don't remember this. It's way too hot now, and there are more monsters around, too. Boss keeps watch over this area, but he can only do so much. So, do you need something else? This is the abandoned North Mine. Oh, and this is the little ditty we all used to sing as we worked. Ammo goes boom, tell or fills the room. Gather said or four rupees galore. Dig all the day to get the good, good pay. <laughs> yeah, this is a famous mine, my man. Or it was until Divine Beast Fall Rudania showed up. Now it's way too hot. There's tons more lava and all kinds of monsters out and about. It's so dangerous. We can't dig here anymore. So, do you need something else? Now, this is a really long conversation. Oh. Goodbye. Now, one problem that I'm having here is I'm trying to record this narration using the video editing software that I have right now. For some goddamn reason, I'm not getting any of the in-game audio. I'm hearing nothing other than my own voice. So that's going to make this even more fun as well. Anyway, so we're trying to get to this abandoned north mine. Um, and if I remember correctly... There's going to be this little cannon, and we're going to figure out a cool mechanism here. It's kind of a cool sequence, which is why I wanted... I didn't want to just X this episode out entirely. 
But then I thought if I just played it without any narration, I don't know, it might be just too stupid. Maybe that's pre preferable. I don't know. Maybe I'm annoying. So here, I think I'm remembering to use stasis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just wanted to explore this little part of the mountain a bit more. Um, I think if I remember correctly that I turn around pretty soon and go the other way. Oh my god, there's still like 33 minutes of this left. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. There, there might be periods where I just don't say anything. Fuck it. Oh, I think I remember... <laughs> this, is, this is not going to be good. I think I remember I find a minecart and I'm talking about like, okay, how do I... Is there some place I can go with this minecart track or something? I don't know. I'm going to light up my smoking pipe here. I'm smoking a little tobacco. Mmm. Yeah, okay, so I find this terminus of the track here, and I'm like, oh, look, I could go up there. Maybe I'll explore that later. That might be a good idea. Look, I'm tracing the path of this track now. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let me go a little further here. Oh, look, it's Stolok Bridge. Interesting. Now, no, no, you know, I think I'm going to turn around. Oh, look, look, there's a mine cart. Let's go look at that. Hey, let's let's climb inside. Uh-oh, no, no, let's go look out. Uh, uh, oh, okay, no, wait, no, we're going to, no. Nope, we're gonna look again. Oh, let's get this. Oh, look, that's, there's Hyrule Castle. Okay, now we're gonna get in. Get in, get in the minecart. Yeah. Okay. Oops, I fell down. Let me try that again. Now I'm crouching. Oh, there we go. Nope, can't get up there. Huh? Oh, yeah. Maybe I should have edited this out. Now wait. Look. How do I start this thing? I'm not sure. Look, there's a hole back here. I couldn't put a bomb in there, could I? That's crazy. Hmm. I wonder if that's what I need to do. Let me think for a minute here. Stasis. No. Bomb. Hmm. Oh, didn't go in. Let me try that again. There we go. Oh, not quite. Put it down there again. There you go. Now. There. Try it. Blow it up. Blow it up. Oh, look at that. It worked. And now we're rolling. Uh, I can't remember how long I go through this. I think it just ends. Oh, yeah. And I surmise that maybe that was just a way of teaching you how to use the minecarts. So anyway, we're going to get back on track. I'm trying to find Unobo. And if we looked at our map, I I don't know if even at this time if I remembered exactly where I was supposed to be going. Uh, but then I find a cannon. And you'll see that in a minute here. That'll be interesting. <laughs> this is so goddamn annoying. Goddamn technology. Don't you hate it when things just don't work for no reason? It's like... It works every other time. Every other fucking time. I open OBS, open Broadcaster Studio, and uh, it works because I have settings. I load those. Hey, stop that! That's boss's cannon. Don't you dare touch that lever. Uh, okay, which of course means that I'm going to touch this lever. Looks like you'll throw a bomb in there. I'm not sure if I realize that right away. Yeah, every other fucking time, it works. One time, it doesn't. Nothing has changed. I didn't change anything. But it just decides, eh, I don't give a shit. Okay, so we're finding out this little mechanic. This is going to play a role later on as we try to get to the actual... Well, I guess just get to Unobo where he's hiding. Yeah, looking around, <laughs> trying to get my bearings. And then I find out, oh yeah, the lever. I can aim this thing different places. So let's try that again. Oh, you missed, you dipshit. Do it again. There we go. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a little platform over there. I wonder if we could blow that up. Try it out. Link. No, nope. you idiot. I guess I didn't blow that up. That was stupid. Yeah, here we go again. Yeah, this is much harder to uh, record narration after the fact, I have to say. And bam! You see that? That's pretty awesome. There was an enemy up there, but now he is dead. Alright, so I guess I figured out I had been fucking around with that too much. And Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets much hotter beyond this point, so I finally... I don't know if it took me a little trial and error, but I realized that I need to put on the entire uh, flame breaker set. So I did the boots and the hat. Or the helmet, I suppose you should call it. So now we have pretty much no defense, because this Flamebreaker set has absolutely no defensive capabilities whatsoever. 
I'm seeing some Lizalfos around here. So basically, this is a whole little gauntlet where you have to defeat the enemies, but they're going to be more of these cannons around that we can use. It's a very cool sequence. I think it's pretty awesome. those bastards. The other thing that I'm just remembering now that's going to piss me off is the uh, the whole sequence where you find Unobo. There's actually some Japanese voice acting. I had forgotten that I had left the Japanese voice acting in, or the Japanese dialogue in, and it's funny because he's saying things and they have the subtitles there for it, and they're not actually translating what he's saying correctly, and because I know a little bit, a very little bit of Japanese, I know that he is actually saying something different, and I remarked wittily about that, wittily, with wit, when I was actually recording this episode, but you'll never get to hear it, so you'll just have to trust me that I was quite funny. And then the voice I did for him, I also remember being quite amusing, but I can't really remember what it was, and now we'll never know. So I might have to think of something else. Yeah, so there's just all these weird little outcroppings of rock surrounded by lava, and I'm trying to make my way. So let's just sit back and watch for a minute here as Link explores this area. Let's look at the map. Let's get into our inventory. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Switching bows for some reason. I don't know. Why was I? Uh, why am I getting rid of that? Why did I do that? Oh, there's another. Oh, strengthened lizzle bow. Okay, that's that's why. Okay, so we can see where Unobo is. Now, for some reason, I'm, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm sure it made sense at the time. Abandoned mine. For some reason, I was thinking I had to enter that or something, as though that was going to be an opening and I was going to go down into a mine. I didn't realize it was a surface mine. And even though there was a map marker showing where Unobo was, for some reason I thought I had to go into that marker. So I think there's going to be a time when I'm, like, wandering around. My god, the whole freaking place is just shaking now with whatever they're doing outside. Oh, another thing. I'm going to have no water for two freaking days because they're working on the water main. For fuck's sake, man. I think they might have it on for, like, a brief period every evening. Hopefully, so I can wash my body. But if that's... Ugh, for god's sake. I mean, I know they have to do repairs. I understand. It's infrastructure. It tears down. It wears down after a while. But god damn it. Two days without freaking water. Usually I'm gone most of the day anyway, so it's not a huge deal. But if there's none at night, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm going to be getting, like, bottles of water and pouring them on my body. Sponging myself off with used t-shirts or dirty underwear. I don't know. It's going to be nasty. All right. So here I'm fucking around with this cannon. I don't know if I realize right away that I could aim it at the different enemy. There's basically, they set this up so there's little enemy encampments as you're trying to make your way towards where Unobo is. And they've got these cannons set up so you can blow them up before you even get there. And I foolishly kept going and killing the enemies first. Oh, you idiot. Go back the other way, you douchebag. You already did that. You already blew that up. There's nothing there. There's nothing else there. So I kept just going and killing the enemies. And then I finally realized when it was almost too late, because there's several of these little installations, I was like, oh, right, I could actually blow them up before I go to the trouble of actually killing them myself. So, you know, slow learner sometimes. And here, yeah, there's all these little updrafts. So basically, there's no way to get around here other than through the air because it's all lava. You can't swim in lava. Now, these dudes I could have blown up with the cannon that's down below. You couldn't really see. It's kind of to the right. But instead, I flew up here, and I killed him. I'm stupid. These red dudes are kind of powerful. And then you can knock them in the lava, but of course they don't care, because they're, they're made of fire anyway. Do I die here? I might die. No, I have a little bit of food. That's one thing I keep forgetting, is to make more food. Another thing I might do, as we're exploring more... Actually, by the time I'm recording this, it doesn't really matter, but what I should have done, I keep wearing this... Uh, fireproof armor, which gives no um, actual defensive ability whatsoever. What I should have done was just taken it off and used the fireproof elixirs, because you can make them with the lizards. One fireproof lizard, or is that what they're called? I think so. 
one fireproof lizard plus one bacoblin makes you a fireproof elixir. So I could have made like 30 of those and just down those the entire time I was running around here and had good armor instead of this rather shitty armor. But whatever, we got through it. Normally when I'm recording these two, there's periods where I'm just kind of running around doing things during the episode and not really talking. And those are parts that I would normally edit out. But I can't remember what those parts are in this episode. So I'm just going to be talking the whole time. So this episode's probably going to end up longer than a typical episode. And I'll probably be keeping things in that may be boring and that what I would normally cut out because while I'm in the middle of making the episode, I'm aware of what's going on. I have a plan. Well, I sort of have a plan. Kind of. Um, but I have an idea. Like, okay, I'm going to try this little thing again. And, oh, now I have to edit this part out because it's repetitive or something. But now, since it's just the uncut raw footage and there's none of my narration. Oh, yeah, I found this. I, I didn't know what the hell this material was, but it didn't seem like I could interact with it. Anyway, now that there's just this uncut footage with none of my narration, I don't really remember which parts... I had deemed boring and not worthy of speaking over. So basically, you're just going to get a big slab of footage with me doing my best to make pithy remarks over the top of it and failing miserably, I'm sure. Oh, for God's sake. I just spilled a bunch of shit. Oh, my God. You don't know what's going on here. You can't see me. But I just spilled shit all over my desk. And now I've got to try to clean it up. Oh, for God's sake. You know, life is hard. Kids... It, it, have ever, has anybody ever told you that life is difficult and you're like, you scoff? Well, let me tell you, it's true. And I'm living proof right now. I just spilled coffee on my desk. It's got, I had a roll of toilet paper here because I've been blowing my nose because of my allergies. It soaked up the coffee. So that, that roll is ruined. It's completely useless now unless I want to blow my nose with coffee tissues. And I don't feel like doing that as much as I love coffee. Oh my God. You know, you think people in the third world have it bad? They don't have to worry about spilling coffee on to toilet paper rolls. They don't even use toilet paper. They wipe their asses with sharpened sticks. You know? So they don't have to deal with problems like this. Hold on for a second. Sharpened sticks. That they wrap a little bit of, you know, they take a bamboo shoot. And they, and they sharpen the edge of it. They cut it off. Well, they cut it off with a stone. They take a stone and they, they knock two stones together. And that gives them a, a flint blade. And they use that to sharpen a, uh, a bamboo shaft. And then they use that as, as both a, a scoop and kind of a, a, a skewer. And they clean the shit off of their assholes with that. That's what they use. So if they spilled coffee on that, that's an improvement, if anything. But I have a whole roll of toilet paper that's just completely useless now. Sucks. All right, I'm still killing enemies that I don't need to kill. See, there's the cannon that I could have used. Could have blowed them up, blowed them right up. And I think, oh, I could still shoot those guys maybe. But what I end up doing a lot is I'll kill the enemies, then I'll go find the cannon, and I'll shoot the cannon at the area where the enemies were uh, to completely no effect because the enemies were dead. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, yeah, that took that entire platform out. That was pretty cool. Awesome. How much longer do we have here? There's still like 20 minutes. <laughs> Is anybody still watching this episode? I'd be very surprised. Not that anyone watches these anyway, but uh, probably less than usual will be watching this one. But that's fine, you know. They can't all be gold. The episode after this one, let me tell you, is uh, no, it's pretty boring too. Actually, no, I think there's a really long, involved shrine after this one, maybe. We do we do several shrines in the next couple episodes, if I'm remembering correctly. I haven't edited those edited did those ones yet. Um, but yeah, we're just going around getting booty, killing enemies. I think at this point in the narration, I was talking about Minecraft for the Switch, because that had just come out, and I was thinking about maybe doing a series of the new Minecraft Switch version, but maybe just a couple episodes. But more importantly, there are two old seasons of what I called the Bradcraft Show. The first season had premiered and aired on a channel that you have never heard of. It was a very, uh, what was it, maybe 2013, 2014? I had this series 
a channel that was just going to be about Minecraft, which is ridiculous. And I had aired the series on there. Nobody saw it. And then I did a second season of the Bradcraft show on the original Stuff and Things channel, which I still have and which many of you are already subscribed to. But I thought, and I was musing while doing this gameplay, that maybe I would re-air those series, those two uh, series one and series two of the Bradcraft show on the Stuff and Things Plays channel. So I'm still thinking about doing that. Probably will. It's going to be old, a little out of date. Uh, they're old versions of Minecraft. I think the first series was from 1.6, or maybe the 1.6 update had just happened at that time. And uh, so that was the horse update. And then I think the second series I had done when 1.8 had come out, something like that. And, uh, you know, there's no conclusion to any of the series. I just start a new settlement, build a bunch of shit, build some pretty cool things, if I don't say so myself. And uh, I think they're enjoyable. The first series especially, the audio is kind of... It's fine. I think I was using Pro Tools at the time to record the audio, but I didn't have as nice a mic as I have now. I'm sure, actually, that the audio sounds kind of shitty in this particular particular episode because of the way I have to record it. But typically, I think my audio is pretty good. I have a nice mic and stuff, and I've sort of, if not perfected, then at least uh, streamlined and done a pretty good job of keeping the quality fairly good audio-wise when I'm recording narration. So that first series is a little rough around the edges, but there's still some fun stuff in there. So I think I'll just start interspersing episodes of the old Bradcraft show in with uh, new episodes of Zelda. Still be doing the Zelda episodes five days a week probably, because I don't want to overload the channel with just too much shit. Um, but we'll see. Oh, I think I'm finding Yonobo. Oh yeah, see, there's a little thing. It's like, help me. But there's actually the Japanese audio. He's saying, Tarika, Taskate, which is like, is there anybody there? Help me. Um, but there is actually, I, if I remember correctly, see, I can't uh, remember now, gang. I can't hear any of the audio from in-game right now. I'm just speaking into silence, complete nothingness. Oh, look, 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 look. <gasps> oh, you found me. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Bye-bye. Ow. <laughs> I always feel bad about that. All right, so here's Yonobo. He's been trapped in here by magma. And I believe we have to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to shoot it with a cannon. Tuskate, Darika! That's what he says. That's called Japanese. Or Nihongo, as they like to say. You might not realize this, but Japanese people don't call their own language Japanese. In fact, they don't call themselves Japanese. <laughs> did you know that? I'm sure you did. I always found that weird that, you know, there's, I mean, I know we have, we speak English, I understand that, but it just seems strange, like, okay, hello, Italians, what do you call your language? Uh, it's Italiano. Okay, no, we're not going to call it that, we're just going to call it Italian. Oh, okay, whatever you want. Like, why do we do that? Why don't we just call it the thing that the person that speaks it calls it, you know? Like French. We call it French. Why don't we call it Francaise? Huh? Doesn't that make more sense? In Japanese, we should call it Nihongo. It's not hard to say. In the Japanese, we can call Nihonji. That means Japanese. Of course, they call us Amerikaijin. So, you know, whatever. What's good for the goose and all that? Okay, so here I realize that I have to kind of shoot it while it's moving. And look at that! Success! We have freed Yunobo from his rocky grave. There he is. Ooh, look at that shield he's got going there. So here I think there actually is audio, and you might be hearing him speaking when you're watching this. I won't be hearing anything as I'm recording this. But let's figure this out. We've still got 14 more minutes, goddammit. <laughs> I'm really suffering through this. This is not fun to try to do. Uh, like a week and a half after I actually played this. Hmm. Okay, yeah. So he says... Yeah, I can't remember. He's speaking in Japanese in the audio. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they say monsters, they're here. They found me. Help. He's not actually saying that. He's saying again, Tarika, Tasukate. He's saying like, oh, who's that? Help me. Yunobo, a Goron youth. I can't remember his voice. God damn it. <laughs> He's an ugly motherfucker, though. He's not as cute as the other Gorons. 
Hmm. Oh. Uh, now that I've gotten a good look. Oh, whoa, it's a Hylian. Were you the one who broke through that crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother. All right. Go, go with the dialogue there, buddy. But what brought you all the way out here to begin with? Oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. Oh, thank goodness. In any case, I'm, sh I'm sure I'm glad you saved me, Goro. My name's Unobo. Everyone calls me Unobo. <laughs> Makes sense, Goro. I came to get some painkillers for Boss, but Magma Bomb caused a rock slide, sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way, how did you break those rocks at the entrance, Goro? Huh? You use Boss's cannon? That thing is so difficult to use. I thought only Boss could handle it. Oops, I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver those painkillers as soon as possible. Sorry, I've got to run. But do come by and see the boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Okay, then goodbye for now, Goro. So there you go. Yeah, I can't remember what the hell his voice was like originally, but it doesn't matter because you never heard it. Roll away, Unobo. Apparently, Unobo is a direct descendant of Daruk, the former champion. And in here, we are going to find some loot, aren't we? Yes. I still want one of those goddamn hard hats that the Gorons have. Why can't I wear one of those? I don't know what I'm doing. Jid jittering around. Just, I'm just running around the place. Open a goddamn chest, you douches. Douches? I want to say douchebag and doofus, and it turned into douches. Uh, purple rupees, that's nice. I think I find... What else is in here? Oh, there's another, like... It's like the Goron version of a sledgehammer. Uh, yeah, there it is, against the wall. Go, go pick that up. See? Look at that. What is that? It's a cobble crusher. So it's only 15 attack, so it's not that spectacular. But I figured, I think I already had a sledgehammer in my inventory. So I figured I would replace it with that. Just to say I had one, you know. Here I'm debating it. I'm sure I'm saying something about, hmm, I wonder if I need that thing. Let me look at my inventory. Am I going to look at my inventory? Huh. Hmm. Yep. I've got an iron sledgehammer. Let me throw it out the uh, cave opening here. I think that's what I... Oh, yeah. Look, look at that. There it goes. Goodbye, sledgehammer. Let's pick up this cobble crusher. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Now I'm going to re-equip my stone smasher. Uh, I'm going to re-equip my stone smasher. I'm going to re-equip my stone... Oh, there we go. And uh, I'm going to break some of these pots. Ooh, look. Rupees. There's a red rupee right there. And now a white, or not a white one, a green one. Oh, no, can't break those crates. There's not even any collision detection there. Hmm, let's look at this. You met Yunobo in the abandoned North Mine. Yunobo hurried back to Goron City to deliver the painkillers. Bluto needs for his backache. You should go speak to Bluto to collect your reward. Uh, excellent. Uh, there's still like 10 minutes left in this episode, so I don't know what the fuck I do after this. I thought I just went back to Bluto. Let's find out, shall we? I'm excited. What's going to happen? Wander around aimlessly. Climb that for a second. Oh. Move the camera so you can't see what's going on. Run around. Look that way. Oh, no. Turn around. No, no. Now we're going to go this way. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Now I understand how annoying it is to watch me play. Okay. Looking around. Oh, I think maybe I'm hearing... Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing a shrine sensor thing. You guys have probably already been hearing that because you can hear the in-game audio, but I cannot. So yeah, my shrine sensor's going off, and I'm trying to figure out where it is, and I think I might find it in this episode. Oh yeah, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Yep. Trying to find the shrine. My sensor is going like crazy. And I realize, oh look, there are minecart tracks leading into there. I need to get on those minecart tracks, but maybe I'll try to fly there with disastrous consequences. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's going to happen? I bet you can figure it out. Oh, melted in molten lava. That's a shame. Well, let's see what happens when I revive. Hmm, maybe I'll do the exact same thing again. <laughs> uh, oh, no, look, I think I've only got like... Oh, no, no, I still got about 10 minutes left. God damn it. Here we go again. No, 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 no. Oh, we made it there. But... Now, do I make it? Maybe I do make it. I can't remember. I don't think so. Because I definitely come back in a later episode and use the minecart to get in there. I find where you actually have to uh, 
mount the, mount the minecart? I guess you mount the no, You don't mount the minecart. You enter the minecart. Uh, yeah, what am I doing? What, now, why didn't I just go down? Uh, I could have just swung under, but instead I fly across to this like a douchebag. And then I try to fly off this little protrusion, but it's too far. Oh, no. Oh, no. I guess I decided I was just going to go back. I could have gotten in there. What an idiot. And then I melt myself again. Yeah. Douchebag. Yeah, I could have jumped from the top of that thing and then doubled back and flown into the mouth. I could still do it. No, I can't now because I'm on this distant pr protrusion thing. But I think by this point I decided I was just going to take the minecart and I was going to go back and talk to Bluto. Uh, yeah, and I can't make it from there, obviously. Oh, you're in a dill of a pickle now, Bradley. What are you going to do? Hmm. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> I think I somehow make it. Oh, yeah, I go that way. Do I make it this time? Maybe I die again. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. All right, this last try. I think this is the definition of insanity. I just keep doing the exact same thing over and over again, expecting different results. No, what? Are you kidding me? How many times do I attempt this? This is ridiculous. God damn, I feel sorry for you people watching this shit. It's different when you're playing it at the time, because the things you're doing make sense to you. But when you're a little bit removed, you've got some perspective, some distance, you think, what the fuck was I doing? Now, why did I mark that? Oh, you know what? In a later episode, I'm wondering what that mark is for. I think maybe I thought that's where I needed to go to get the minecart, and then I realized, actually, no, it's in the main... I don't know what I was thinking. I'm looking at the map right now. Uh, and then I decide to fast travel. Yeah, which I probably should have done from the very beginning. I don't... Th I think I mount the minecart in this one. Maybe it's in the next episode. I definitely, in the next couple episodes after this, which I have already recorded, obviously, um, but haven't edited it yet, I think I do a bunch of the shrines that I've marked and just kind of left. So that's kind of fun. There's some pretty cool shrines coming up. Stay tuned for that. The Shemosa Shrine. Yeah, so here I'm just going to go talk to Pluto. Whoa, watch it there, buddy. Dragging your feet in molten lava. And there's the boss. What was the boss's voice again? <laughs> it's the tiny traveler. All right, advance the dialogue, please. Press the button, you idiot. Press the fucking button. Why am I not pressing the button? Press the button. You know, but tell me about how you helped him, brother. Here's a reward for you. Highlands like you need this sort of thing, right? Yes. Uh, I guess. Okay, then. Well, I took my painkiller, so I guess it's time to meet up with you, Nobo. I mean no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if I'm not there to give that Rudani a good walloping... Are you really telling me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? Uh... See that statue up there? That's Daruk. Gotta roll that R. Daruk. Oh, yeah, the statues. <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? They tried to do art. <laughs> Just these misshapen Play-Doh figures. <laughs> there he is. That's the old boss. Oh, oh, yeah, we get a memory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and it's in Japanese, too. Yeah, forgot about this. <gasps> Again, I'm not getting any of the audio from the game, so I'm missing my cues a little bit here. I'm gonna sit back and watch this with you. よし。もう信じようやつのことつかめてきたぜ。心の英傑として、この薬剤ガノンとやらがどんな奴か知らねえけどよ。俺は必ずこの景色を守って見せるぜ。なあ、相棒。そういや、おめえを姫さんお付きの騎士に選んだのは<笑> 
直々の使命じゃねえか頑張んなまああの姫さんはずっと気合い入りすぎっつうか余裕がねえっつうか特におめえには strange that only the Goron leaders are allowed to grow hair apparently he's got like arm hair shoulder hair chest hair but is it made of rocks I don't know looks cool uh oh Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had surmised while watching this that, you know, we got Mipha's Grace when we did the first Divine Beast.、Mm. Um, we got her little healing power, so I was thinking we'll probably be getting his cool shield power if we do this Divine Beast. And his descendant, Yunobo, had that power as well. Radical. All right, then. So there you go. We got a little memory. And I think that's where I pause the episode, hopefully. <laughs> What's gotten into you? Highland sure are strange. Anyway, you know Bo is actually a descendant of the great Daruk. Hit the button. Hit the button. Why am I taking so long to advance the dialogue? I don't understand. Was I just reading really, really slowly? My god! That's why that slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself when we fire him at Rudania. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. Alright. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Alright, that's enough out of me. Time to go drive off Rudania. Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah, just Peachy. Jump Traveler, of course I'm not okay.、Ah, I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yonobo that I'm going to have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Bridge. Alright, so he heard his back. Gotta know what that's like. I've had some back issues in the past myself. Um, all right. Well, there you go. So we've got a place that we need to go. Elden Bridge. We can advance the plot. We can go and tackle that divine beast. But in the next couple episodes, we don't do that. We do some other shit. But it's fun, too. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully, this episode wasn't too horrible, too painful to watch. Some technical difficulties. They happen sometimes. Nothing we can do. We just make the best of it. But until next time, until we meet again, I've been your good friend, Bobby, and beyond in the Nothing's Plays. I'll see you later.